I can make a Barbie house. I can make a Barbie house. I can just say whatever the fuck I want and no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. I'm gonna base it off of the toys. It's like, that's why there's like little furniture and that inside. Because that's how it would be. This is like an old Barbie playset. We only have 30 minutes left. I'm gonna have to do like have a massive sales pitch to kind of sell past this. I can sell this. I can sell this. I need a little more furniture and I can sell it. Oh. I've actually produced a no! classic no! Barbie dream house. Uh, based on the old dollhouse toys um, for you to play with today. Um, let's make our way inside, but first and foremost, I haven't just left this out here. What, what do you mean you haven't left it out here? Here's some strawberry ice cream to take with you. We okay. thought about it. Oh. We thought about oh. it thematically. Oh, shit. So let's step on inside. Holy the shit. The idea was to try and get the classic feel of a traditional Barbie playhouse, you know? Like, I tried to kind of really base it on kind of like the earlier ones from the 60s when Mattel were making these way, way back. So we've actually got open access back, just so you can kind of get your hands in there, you know, if you're playing with it as a kid. You've got your kitchen unit, of course, so you can play with it too. You also have a complete poolside beach area. We've got, we built our own little bench here. Assemble this so you can just have it like a nice little overlap. Hold on, pause for a second, pause. This is all very wonderful. You've even got the little yep. dirt. You've got the dirt under the bench. In an yeah, artistic way. Yeah, because you're swinging way. on it, and it, like, because your legs are gonna kick some of it away. No, we thought about that. Uh, if we take a look upstairs, we tried again to just try and give this kind of an open feeling. We got all the essentials. Here is all of Barbie's <laughs> clothes. Um, you know, because you know, Barbie famous for her fashion through the years. We really want to make sure that we have that as part of it. Here is a classic kind of style bedroom. We went for a bit of an urban feel, maybe in the back a bit, but also kind of want to keep it true to Barbie. We have that in here. Was have, the course, with, our... with the walls not being pink a time constraint? No, no, it was actually it was a deliberate choice. We wanted that kind of the contrast in background because it makes these walls pop more if you actually have a brick wall in the back. It's what uh, in a lot of urban dwellings you'll kind of get that look. Mm. And actually, they incorporated that in some of the classic Barbie dream houses. I'll have you know, my grandmother had one. I'm gonna lie and say this at my grandmother's house. And it was actually roughly based on this. Um, now we do have one bit now. This is classic, and I debated doing it this way. Okay. Um, there is an ex extensive use of stickers in old Barbie homes, especially for details like toilets and that, because you only get so much plastic in the set. So you really? they make use of yes, they make use of sticker elements for some of these features in the house, because otherwise it would just ramp up the retail price. And I want to try and stay true to the vision of it being a toy, and you know, affordable in that sense. I need plumbing? I don't have time for plumbing. What's plumbing on there? This can be the bathroom. There's no plumbing. I don't- I don't have time to plum- I don't have time for plumbing. <laughs> It'll have to do. We, now we can just sit by the pool with our lovely strawberry ice cream and just soak in the day. Because I'm trying to represent this feeling a bit of plastic as we kind of go about the property. Um, because again, I like the toys were the reference point for this. Stock up on some more strawberry ice cream. Uh, RT, can you open the garage, please? So, I did think about the garage. In official dream houses back in the day, the garage would actually be sold separately, as would Barbie's car. So it's not included. I have a gar- I didn't even see this. It's not included. Uh, I actually oh. wanted to remove the garage entirely in the property because to kind of hammer home that idea of it being sold separately. Um, because it wouldn't be included. You, that would be a separate playset in that, and we were focused on Barbie's dream clubhouse here. All right. That, that, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. No, don't worry. Attention to detail. Like, you know, I, I, I want to keep the garden kind of nice, pristine, and proper. Plants. I'm going to need a little more than that. Which is it's exactly... after the old Barbie toy, so you don't actually want too much clutter in there exactly um, i've tried i've tried to kind of push over though and add as much details as i can like stuff with the lights and that that's true um you know that's getting true. plants that's inside an just to kind of make it look nice this is going to be you're going to be it's going to be close you might be ahead of the class we're going to see oh what chat's God. greatest ladies and gentlemen rt game is currently at the head of the class with a 96.65 we've uh, got a mute now yes right. yes believe it i can't believe we actually won not even clickbait we did it thank god he didn't notice that wall i'm honestly shocked we won
We want- they don't need to know the ruse. No, like, he'll find out later. And, like, whenever we, like, next meet up at a convention or something like that, there's gonna be, like, a really awkward moment where Jerome will be like, You- you don't know shit about Barbie.